I can see a couple showers around tonight and tomorrow. Not looking for widespread rain, just maybe some brief showers or some sprinkles around, but most of the time just some clouds passing through tonight. And I think it may stay a little cloudier tomorrow than it did today. So not much rain. Most areas less than a tenth of an inch of rain if it does rain. Breezy and warmer weather, though, tries to creep back in Sunday and especially Monday. I think Monday might be a day when temperatures are close to record highs again. But tonight, most areas are dry. We had a couple of showers fade away this evening in Star County. Now a few more showers are trying to come in off the Gulf. So there's kind of a, a we're on near the tail end of a kind of stuck cold front in the Gulf, which is fading away, but still enough enough punch to it to cause a couple of showers. So a few of these showers rolling in trying to cross the Bay Waters right now, a uh, little southeast of Port Mansfield. So you might see brief showers roll through. I mean, if this would move over, you would actually get, you know, semi heavy rain on you for maybe 10 minutes or so. But uh, just keep an eye on the sky tonight. Maybe some showers coming in from the east and even tomorrow. Maybe not 100% clouds, but the majority of the time looks pretty cloudy tomorrow. There might be some patchy fog near sunrise before it leaves, but temperatures mostly in the 70s tomorrow with the added cloud cover and a couple of uh, areas of sprinkles or showers may form. You can see there's not a lot out there besides our little cluster of showers nearby. There's not really any organized areas of storms or rain around, just a few showers here and there. Across Texas up to the north, a little patch of showers too. The next cold front trying to roll in here later in the weekend will help I'll probably bring up some warmer temperatures, but here it is on future track tonight. That one weak front is nearby and just fading away off to our east. That front kind of fizzles out tomorrow and then clouds probably lingering most of Saturday, probably through Sunday morning. As the next cold front you see here by early Sunday morning comes through Arizona and out into Texas Sunday afternoon, that will start to pick up the breezes from the southeast. So it could be a little breezy at times on Sunday and then temperatures start to go up as well. Here's a closer look at future track tonight and it kind of picks up through midnight about where those areas of rain are some showers near the coast and up to our, our north and then really any time tonight or tomorrow little sprinkles of showers may briefly come in could be a little rain at times through the afternoon hours but you know still probably 80 or 90% of the time or more it's going to be dry 6 p.m. still maybe a sprinkle or shower nearby and then I think mostly dry weather takes over tomorrow night and Sunday in fact early Sunday morning some clouds around and I think as the breezes increase future track tries to show maybe a little sprinkle near the coast but mainly just clouds breaking up during the daytime on Sunday with temperatures back in the 80s could even hit 90 by Monday across the country. The weather pattern right now, the cold air is kind of locked up to the north where you see it's in the 20s and 30s in the upper Midwest, but a little taste of the cool air may start to dip south with the next front uh, next week. We'll show you that coming up next half hour, but no big plunges of cold air coming in for the next few days. So uh, the, the chilly, chilly stuff kind of staying away. So your first 1570 forecast. Remember we have Weak front nearby tonight and tomorrow causing a couple of sprinkles and showers, but after that mostly just dry weather. Some sunshine mixed with clouds on Sunday highs back in the 80s on Sunday, maybe a little gusty with the winds in the afternoon on Sunday, Sunday night and Monday, especially if you're near the coast. Uh, wouldn't be surprised to see some advisories come out even with the next front on Wednesday. It could be gusty at the coast and across parts of the valley. But look at temperatures. Monday could be a hot day, maybe near 90 degrees and even warm on Tuesday before we finally cool off again. But we'll talk more about that front coming up.